Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I am reviewing the CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless 3-in-1 Foundation. Roll the footage. As always, this is going to be a fungal acne safe foundation review and if you don't know what fungal acne is, make sure you subscribe to my channel right now so you can find out what it's all about. At the very least, do not click off this video until you have downloaded my free fungal acne shopping guides to Walmart, Target, Ulta, and Sephora. Just look for the shopping cart emojis linked below. So in a minute, I'm going to remove my makeup and actually apply this product on camera, but before I get to that, I just want to point out a couple things about it. Number one, obviously this is a drugstore foundation. It's not one that I'm super hyped about just because me and CoverGirl don't have a great history together. Um, more on that in a moment. Number two, this product is definitely a little expensive for a drugstore product. And then number three is that this is the Olay Simply Ageless product under the guise of CoverGirl because they're obviously under the same umbrella. And so it's targeted at an older, more mature audience. I think that may be the reason why it has the higher price tag and also the limited shade range on it. I feel like not that many mature women are going to be buying CoverGirl products. I'm not sure. I don't know. Do you guys like CoverGirl? Did you before you discovered you had fungal acne? I need you to tell me right now in the comments because CoverGirl is the first makeup that I ever used as a teenager and honestly it did not travel well with me through my life. I think that's a good way to sum it up. But definitely let me know your opinion in the comments right now. And now, let's do this. Alright guys, so obviously I have no makeup on right now. This morning I woke up and I just simply cleansed my face with a little bit of micellar water and a cotton pad because my skin's been a little dry so I didn't want to like full on wash it with water and everything. Um, and then after that I did... Uh, spritz my face with some plain water and then I added a couple drops of my hyaluronic acid serum to it and then finished everything off with a couple good dabs of my CeraVe moisturizing cream. Now many of you will already know this but this product does have one fatty alcohol in it that is not safe for malassezia technically. However, I think the pros of this product outweigh the con and it is such a rich moisturizer and sometimes my skin just needs that like it really did today. But if you guys are looking for a moisturizer that is completely safe, here is a very affordable one. It's the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. I also have an entire fungal acne safe moisturizer video that I'm going to link below right now if you wanted to take a look at that. It gives way more options. Alright, so I'm going to start applying my CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless 3-in-1 foundation. Now I'm going to be using my Real Technique setting brush to actually do this today. This is the one I usually go for. Um, lately I haven't, but I'm back on this. This product is one fluid ounce. It costs anywhere from $15 to $18, depending on where you buy it from. I personally bought this at Target. It was $15. I had a coupon. It ended up being $12 total. This foundation doesn't make any claims about coverage or longevity or what the finish is going to be like. It simply has these three claims. I'm going to read them to you directly from the back. The purpose of this foundation is that it's infused with hyaluronic complex and vitamin C, so it will instantly reduce the appearance of fine lines. It's going to improve your tone and deliver a firming moisture. Now the hyaluronic acid is going to be the thing that is supposed to reduce the appearance of your fine lines instantly and deliver firming moisture, and then that vitamin C is going to be the improving of your tone. Those claims also lead me to believe, and I think this is worth noting, that this is really formulated for a more mature type of a skin. I don't know that this is really targeted at me just given my age and I don't really have tons of fine lines and definitely not really too many wrinkles yet. I am curious to find out whether that hyaluronic acid infused in here is going to help plump my skin a little bit more and kind of diminish the appearance of all of the scarring that I have on my face. So that's kind of what I'm looking to get out of this, but I really have no idea, so let's start applying. Um, the bottle is made of plastic and very cheap, but it does have the pumping apparatus. I'm gonna start by applying one pump to the back of my hand, and you get a pretty decent amount out of that. That's a pretty big blob. I did, by the way, pick this up in the color 210, which is classic ivory. I got to that shade based off of matching myself on Ulta's website. Again, it was picking your skin undertones. So um, whatever I did, this is what I came up with. And when I checked it in the store, it did seem like a pretty good fit for me. So 
It doesn't move a lot when you put it on the back of your hand, so that's kind of interesting. It's kind of a more uh, stiff and fluffy texture. Actually, this reminds me a lot of the texture of the Super Goop CC Cream, maybe a little bit drier. So I'm gonna just start dabbing this onto my face. So I have to tell you guys, I have been opposed to Cover Girl for a really long time in my life. And the reason why is because when I was at the height of my acne problems, um, probably my skin was the worst it had ever been. I had started to use the CoverGirl Clean Foundation and it was just wreaking havoc. The smell still just brings back all these terrible vibes for me. So I've kind of steered clear of CoverGirl for like, I don't know, at least the last like 10 years of my life, I would have to say almost. So I feel kind of brave today picking this back up. All right guys, one thing that I wanted to quickly note here is that this definitely has a skincare type of a fragrance to it. It's like a mild smell, but it kind of has like a soapy smell to it, like a fresh soap smell to it. So it's not an offensive smell by any means, but it is definitely fragranced. Um, I'm thinking so far, just based on what I'm seeing, that this is definitely a good match color-wise shade range for me. Um, another thing to point out about the shade range of this is that it only comes in 12 shades, which is so sad and pathetic. The other sad thing about it is that not only is it so limited, but they're only light to some medium shades, so no one in a deeper skin tone is going to be able to get their hands on this product and have it work out for them. Coverage wise, I would say this is, like I thought it was going to be, a pretty light coverage. Um, I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to add another pump and kind of go back in to see if I can get a little better coverage going on with my skin. But I would say this is gonna just be something that is gonna be a tinted moisturizer. So if you just wanted to throw something on to give yourself a little bit of coverage and even things out, you could use this. But it's definitely not gonna be that kind of a foundation where you're gonna wanna wear it when you go to a party or something like that. That is the first layer blended in, and you can kind of see what it's done. It's not that it hasn't done anything. It's definitely evened things out a little bit. I don't hate it. Um, I'm gonna do like a half squirt more, just because I have a pretty big face. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it's reading this way on camera. In person, I definitely feel like I am getting a little bit better coverage with a little bit extra product. However, I'm not loving the overall texture of it at the end. I feel like in person, it's not covering any of my scarring very well at all. It doesn't really make me look improved. <laughs> I don't feel like my skin tone and my texture and anything about my actual face looks much more improved. I can definitely feel this sitting on top of my skin. It's not super heavy and annoying, but it's definitely like present, it's there. I think the smell kind of adds to that too. It's very like, it doesn't really dissipate. It's kind of lingering a little bit longer than most of them do for me. I'm not really loving this foundation. However, I am going to just give it a go for the rest of the day, see if I kind of change my opinion on it as the day goes on. I used one and a half pumps of this to get this coverage, and now I'm just gonna continue on with my makeup and hopefully something will come of it. I'm gonna be using two of my Medusa's makeup eyeshadows. Um, the first one is this deep, beautiful purple. It's part of the Totally Baked collection. It's in the color Radical. And then this one is Stardust. It's from the Glamrock collection. Both of these are fungal acne safe options. If you guys are looking for fungal acne safe eyeshadows, I'm gonna link that video right now for you because I've done a whole video on it. I'm gonna move on to a cream product that I today put in, um, was looking at the ingredients on and realized that it is not at all fungal acne safe. Um, it is now formulated with, I think it's safflower oil and there's a couple other things in it that are not safe. I bought this product so, so long ago and I feel pretty confident to say that it's since been reformulated because I'm not sure that the other products weren't in it, but I'm almost 100% sure that the safflower oil was not present in this previously. This is the Flesh Highlighting Balm. It's in the color Squeeze, and you guys might be freaking out, but <laughs> hear me out on this for a second. Fungal acne does not have to be forever for everyone, 
And as you go along, it's okay if you find a product that's not 100% fungal acne safe that works for you. Personally, more recently even, my goal has become, I don't always wanna have to just follow fungal acne safe products. I'd hope to be able to expand my horizons in the future. I'm never gonna go back to putting, you know, like face oils on my skin and a lot of things like that. But I do think there's a place for balance and um, I am gonna use this today just because it doesn't cause me any problems. I also think this formula is outdated now. So that is my makeup finished. If you guys are not familiar with this style of video, when I do these first impressions, I give you my overall thoughts in this video, obviously, and then within a couple days, I will wear this foundation again and again, just to kind of see the various outcomes of it, see how it wears throughout the day, the texture, the finish, all of that kind of good stuff. And then I will give you my final thoughts via my Instagram stories, and I'll save it to a highlight, so if you're not there on that day, you can still get the content. Um, but so far, I have to say, after adding a million other products <laughs> over this, I think that the foundation doesn't look so bad. It's not too matte or too dewy. It doesn't really go one way or the other. Some of the glow, you can kind of see this like glow that kind of starts right in here is actually from the foundation. That could be the work of the serum included within it. And then I added obviously a lot of other more reflective color over the top of it. So it's kind of got a nice nice glowy finish to the overall finished look. So yes, I will see you guys over on Instagram. My handle is at Brooks Beauty Bazaar and you can catch that and so much other good stuff over there. If you guys are new around here, I just wanted to remind you that I make so much fungal acne based content. So there are tons of other makeup reviews from a fungal acne perspective, as well as skincare reviews from a fungal acne perspective. Be sure you go and check out some of my other videos. And if you want to direct your attention to the left side of the screen right now, I am linking to of my recent foundation first impression videos. The first is the NAR Soft Matte and the second is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. And if you're looking for help with how to clear your fungal acne, I also have a From Fungal Acne to Clear Skin Guide. You can check that out at the link below if you are needing more help.